guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the gifts that I am giving that are not beauty related. Well, not all of them, just some of them because otherwise we would be here all day. I just thought I would go through and tell you guys about some of the more interesting presents that I will be giving this year that are not beauty related. Yesterday, if you haven't seen it, I did all of the presents that I'm doing that are beauty related. Um, I had a lot of fun filming that, so I will link that down in the description if you haven't seen that yet. So today I'm going to be talking about everything that isn't makeup or hair or any of that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have a couple of things that I don't physically have right now um, for a couple of reasons. Some are already wrapped and under the tree. I was a little bit trigger happy when it came to wrapping this year. Totally forgot I was filming this video and wrap them up. So the first thing is Ancestry DNA. I actually got my mom an Ancestry subscription last Christmas and she really enjoyed that. But she'd been seeing um, more and more commercials for Ancestry DNA and 23andMe and stuff like that. And I think she got really interested in it, so I thought I would just pick up an Ancestry DNA kit, give it to her, and see what happens, because I'm actually really interested in what her results are, because obviously her results are half of my results, but I think she's gonna find that really interesting. Obviously, some of these gifts aren't plausible for presents if you want them, like, right on Christmas. I'm one of those people who doesn't really mind if like my gift is in the mail, stuff like that, or if you can somehow get some of these presents from a store, you know, that's an option. This is one, it did take a few, about a week to ship, so you're probably not going to get it in time for Christmas, but you can always give it after Christmas or just tell them what they're getting, stuff like that. I thought Ancestry DNA is a really interesting present, so I'm really excited to see her open that on Christmas. I got my parents the mugs from Christmas Vacation. So if you've ever seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, you'll know that he has these little eggnog mugs that are shaped like moose. Basically, Target has them for $20 a piece. I saw them on Black Friday. I was like, I have to get them for the both of them. I was just gonna get them for my mom, get one for my mom, and then I was like, no, my dad want, needs one too. So they're both getting little moose mugs. I love stuff like that. I love giving presents that kind of have more meaning. Christmas Vacation is a movie we watch every single year in my house, every time we all are done with work and school. We sit down and watch that movie. We're actually gonna watch it tonight, which is really gonna be fun. So basically, I love giving those presents that are like funny and like, you know, fun, but they also have more of like a sentimental aspect to them as well. So that is another thing that I'm giving this year. Another thing that I've already wrapped up is a Nickelodeon puzzle for my brother. So basically, my brother and I grew up on Nickelodeon, Rocket Power, SpongeBob, Rugrats, all of the great ones, all of the best ones, and I actually found this puzzle at uh, Books A Million that is like a thousand pieces and has like a ton of different characters from like good time Nickelodeon. Um, my brother loves puzzles, so I thought it was like an absolutely perfect present. I Yet again, it's sentimental. It has like more meaning than just something fun and cool. So I'm really excited to see him open that. Going along with that, also at Books A Million, I picked up a couple of Funko Pops. I've already given one of them away. It was Rose and Island from The Golden Girls. My best friend Sydney and I are obsessed with The Golden Girls. So when I saw like the wall of Golden Girls Funko Pops, I was like, that's going to Sydney. And then I also got my brother a Chewbacca one, which he enjoys Star Wars. Not as much as he used to, but it's kind of like a sentimental thing going along with the Nickelodeon. Um, I'm really excited because I hope he's gonna enjoy that. And I believe the last present that I don't actually have here to show you is a calendar from Shutterfly. I got my mom a calendar with a lot of like our baby pictures and pictures from when we were kids last Christmas and she absolutely loved it. She cried on Christmas morning. It was super amazing and just wonderful. So I did it again. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. Fingers crossed it comes by Christmas, but if not, it's okay. Um, I think Shutterfly is one of the best websites to get really sentimental, thoughtful gifts from. They have amazing deals as well, so check those out. Obviously, yet again, this is one of those things you have to order, so it may not come in time for Christmas, but I think the sentimental value of it, you know, totally outweighs it not coming in time. So the first two gifts I have physically here to talk about are kind of go together. They are baking things. So the first up is a bunt pan. I know that sounds really weird to give somebody a bunt pan, but my mom has been like talking about bunt pans for like months now and I don't really know why. So I just picked her up one. She didn't own one apparently, or if she did, it got ruined. So just the bunt pan. But then the other day she was making Christmas cookies and she mentioned that it felt like her mixer was starting to burn up. She's had the mixer for like 20 years or something. So I decided that I was gonna pick her up a nice little KitchenAid hand mixer. She does not want one of the big mixers. She claims that she doesn't have enough room for it. So I didn't go all out and get her one of those, but I did get her a little hand mixer. It's in this really pretty blue color. I 
think this is such a cute present just because I know my mom and I know she wasn't gonna get herself a new mixer until hers literally died. <laughs> and I knew she wasn't gonna get herself a bun pan even though she keeps talking about it because it's just not something she's gonna like think about. So I decided I would put them together, give them perfect little baking present, put them all together and it just they just go together so well. So I'm really excited. I hope she likes this on Christmas morning. I hope she gets excited about it because I am excited about it. Next up also for my mom is this really pretty white robe from Target. This is the Gilligan and O'Malley brand. It's super soft, super nice. Um, I think this was on sale the other day at Target as well. Basically, I've been helping my mom declutter her closet and she'd had this really old ratty robe forever and she got rid of it. And then we were talking about something and she said like, oh, I never got a new one. So I'm getting one for her. I think robes are such a nice present to begin with. I love getting bath robes. Like they're just snuggly and warm and amazing. I actually just got one free from Ulta because I ordered some perfume, so that was great. But I just think giving a robe, especially a really nice robe that like someone's not going to buy for themselves, just is like a really nice and meaningful present. So I'm excited about this. Going along with like cozy stuff, this is kind of like what we do on a family level every year. Um, and that is giving PJs on Christmas Eve. This year they all match. Don't tell anybody, but they all match. Um, but I thought I'd show you some matching PJs that me and my friend Sydney got. We did get the exact same Christmas cat pajamas. These are from Target. It's just some cats on some garland and they're really freaking cute. So yet again, cozy presents are some of my favorites to give, my favorites to get, just because it's winter. It's freezing. The number one thing you want to do is like get in your cozy clothes, sit by the fire, drink some hot cocoa, and watch a movie. This is the perfect kind of gift for that. Going along again with, you know, cozy presents, I have these really nice, like, fluffy bear slippers from Target. I love giving socks because I love getting socks, and I think socks are one of those things that you can really personalize and get really fun ones and really cozy ones and really, like, pinpoint what a person's gonna like, and I love that about it. Target also has the 12 Days of Socks advent calendars. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do that leading up to Christmas, but technically 12 days is, I believe, supposed to be after Christmas. Something like that. I know there's something going on after Christmas. So you could do it like live on, give it to them Christmas, tell them that they can open one for the 12 days after Christmas, you know. No post-Christmas depression because you get socks every day, so I think that'd be really fun. But I love giving socks. One of my favorite things to give, so very excited. This is kind of like a very like personalized kind of present. You'd really have to think about what a person would like. But if you're anything like me and my friends, I like, they're, it's pretty obvious what we're gonna like. Um, and I gave YouTube merch this year. This is what my friend Sydney gave me. This is the Shane Dawson merch, obviously. Me and Sydney bond over our love of Shane Dawson. I got her the green shirt that says, I'll go home. If you watch Shane, you know that these are very, these are very appropriate t-shirts for him. But the merch thing can go through anything. I know I would love if I got some Taylor Swift merch under the tree because that Reputation hoodie is amazing, but it's so expensive. I would love it if you know that they have something that they love, whether it be, you know, Star Wars or really anything. I think merch is a great idea because it shows that you know what they like and you know that they have a passion for something. Next up is a present that I think is really cool and I feel like it's not something that every single person is gonna buy for themselves. And that is a fragrance or essential oil diffuser. This one is going to my aunt and uncle. I just think it's one of those gifts that if you're not really like, into the trends of that, you're not really gonna know about it or you're not gonna really be drawn to that. But I think it's something that a lot of people can benefit from. I also got them a little pack of the essential oils. So we have savory chai, savory chai to soothe, citrus blossom to energize, and spa room blend for like tran tranquility. I just think this is one of those presents that certain people are just not gonna buy for themselves, but would use. So I'm really excited about this. I got these from Bad Bath & Beyond. They were pretty inexpensive. These are actually more expensive than this but I'm really excited to give them this. Next up, we have like books as a general category. I'm giving like normal, regular books that, you know, my mom wants and I gave Sydney a novel that I thought she would like, but there's also like more creative books that you can give. For example, um, this is the 52 Lists for Happiness, Weekly Journaling, Inspiration for Positivity, Balance, and Joy. So I just thought this was a really cute idea for someone who, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be like a negative person. Maybe they get stressed out. Maybe they just get 
you know, in their head or anxious and I just thought this was so perfect. We're graduating soon, so a little bit of like a year's worth of happiness to remind ourselves that, you know, things aren't that bad. <laughs> is always a good thing. I just thought this was really sweet, like list 39, list the things that you hope will bring you joy this week, stuff like that. It makes you kind of change your mindset a little bit more and I think that's really important. So super excited to give this away. Also to Jordan, I got her a vegan junk food cookbook. I'm also getting my mom a cookbook, but that's already wrapped up under the tree. Um, this is something that I found and I was really excited about because my friend has been vegan for I think like three months now. And I just thought I would give her something a little bit more fun. She does cook and obviously as a vegan it can be hard to find like junk food and stuff like that that you're gonna enjoy. So I figured her and her boyfriend would really enjoy this and I just thought it was really fun to like go through and see like how you can make stuff vegan. <laughs> Finally in the book category is coloring books. I love giving coloring books. I got my brother a Bob Ross coloring book because they have Golden Girls coloring books. They have Harry Potter coloring books. I love coloring books. I love my Christmas coloring book. It's very appropriate. I literally color this all year because it's beautiful and it's my favorite. I think coloring books make a great gift. I've given them to my mom, my friends, pretty much like if you're my friend, you've probably been given a coloring book by me if you didn't already own one. So I just think these are a fun gift for anybody. Literally, they don't even have to be artistic. I'm not artistic at all, but I find such like contentment, I guess, in coloring these. So I just think they're really cool and fun and trendy, but great. The last gifts that I am giving um, are kind of like weird, but I feel like they're not that weird because if I put a mug on this, it would be a really normal present. Um, I got my friend this pig tea diffuser. She loves pigs. So I thought this little piggy shaped tea diffuser would be really cute. And obviously I had to give her some loose leaf tea to go along with it. If I threw a mug on this, that would be like the perfect present. I should probably go pick up a mug because I didn't think about it. Stuff like this is some of my favorite things to give. Just little thoughtful presents. I know she likes pigs. She just started drinking tea. It's a perfect gift. You've knocked it out of the park basically. I just love presents that show that you really thought about it or that you really know a person. And I think those are the ones that mean the most. So those are the most interesting of the presents I'm giving this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't boring. I have no idea. But yes, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.